Hey folks, let's talk about the difference between CBD gummies, Delta 8 gummies, and Delta 10 gummies. I'm Paul Grun, I'm an affiliate with HempWorks that offers these products and I've used them all. Before I can get into that, brief little discussion first about pot versus hemp. These products are made from hemp. Um, they're different plants. They're of related families, just like a, an orange and a lemon are both citrus, but they're obviously not the same plant. Pot is grown to have very high levels of THC, or it's been bred for that, and the THC in that is known as Delta 9, whereas hemp has long been bred to have extremely low THC. Now, I do not react well to pot at all. I was introduced to it as a teenager and I found I was extremely paranoid. I could not be around anybody else and basically all I would do is listen to music. I tried it later on in life and it was horrible. It was worse. It was, I'm literally hallucinating. I never want to repeat that experience again. But CBD and these products are totally different. CBD has been around for a while in different forms from oils or tinctures under the tongue to soft gels to even gummies like this. Now this is from broad spectrum CBD which means it has guaranteed zero THC. CBD is generally taken to control words I can use are discomfort and anxiousness which I've been taking it for five years because I've inherited arthritis and golf pain issues and other things uh, and it works now last year our company came out with delta 8 gummies I was like what's that so a little bit of research on the web and found that out and the effect will vary depending upon how much you take and the instructions on the back of the package say just start with a quarter to half a gummy uh, and that's what I did a quarter gummy for a while the days I wish to use it it takes an hour or two to have an effect but it lasts six to eight hours or longer and what I read matched up to what I experienced with a quarter gummy of delt 8 I was focused I was just in the zone I was into whatever I was doing uh, different names people have had for that sort of effect no high at all uh, loss of appetite which was a good thing a uh, bit of a dry mouth but um, a good experience the way I feel like life should be led I have tried half a gummy that was a very different experience half a gummy of Delta 8 at that point after a couple hours I was stoned uh, none of the negative effects so no paranoia no hallucinating no upset of any kind uh, kind of related to almost a total loss of time uh, filling up a glass of water it's like it's just taking forever or, or going to the bathroom it's like I'm standing here for five minutes when's this gonna end which was <laughs> I remember that being on pot too and other people have told me about that uh, but an enjoyable experience but uh, still kind of again with this lack of time when I'm doing things on the computer it's like did I just message that person did I enter that into my database it's like just losing track of what you're doing so I'd rather not do that if I've got some serious things to get accomplished we offered the Delta 8 last year. It was a limited time and no longer. But this year, we just came out with Delta 10. Never heard of that before either, so a little bit of research. There is THC in these products, but this is, again, Delta 10, difference of pot, which is Delta 9. The effect is supposed to be milder than the Delta 8. The instructions are similar, take a quarter to a half a gummy. Well, I did half a gummy and I'm finding after four hours, it's still really the same to me as a quarter gummy of the Delta 8. Uh, loss of appetite, very focused, into the zone, just doing what I've been doing. Uh, so I describe it as a very positive effect. So there you go, discussions of CBD versus Delta 8 versus Delta 10 gubbies. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.